Hey, this is another two minutes of CO2 with Trevor. We're gonna dive into oil level controls. There's many different oil level controls out on the market today, and you need to understand them because you wouldn't really see them on standard synthetic refrigerant systems. You may now, but you, I didn't. I work on many racks and I've never seen them. But on CO2 systems, you're gonna start to see these. These electronic controls are really to protect the system, protect compressors. So we've got a couple of examples here of these compressors do not have oil pumps on them. So how do I know if there's oil in the compressors? Well, you put these oil controls on it and it washes to see if there's oil in the compressors because if we don't have oil, we need to be alerted. And that's what the, they do as well as on oil reservoirs so we want to make sure that we have oil in the reservoir and this is what they will do as well as flash tank receivers as you can see right here these controls are watching to see if there's any type of fluid there is there fluid or if there's not fluid and you can use them either way for example if you see them on a separator all of a sudden that oil separates to separate oil we don't want to store oil in there so we would have it on a separator kind of like this, there's two different brands that I'm showing, but there's many brands out there that is saying, okay, we got oil in here, let's get it out, okay, through the control. Or as well as the, this one here is an HB one that you may see out there. That one there, if it was on a flash tank receiver, it's like, okay, we have refrigerant in this receiver, great. And these are so important to understand how they work. You gotta follow the wiring diagrams, you gotta understand the lighting system, and you gotta understand how to troubleshoot them. If you wanna be the best at CO2 and troubleshooting and service, you gotta know all the components and how they work. You wanna learn more, head to the Refrigeration Mentor YouTube channel, check out the CO2 playlist. And if you really wanna learn about CO2, head to the Refrigeration Mentor website, click on the courses page, and dive into the CO2 learning programs that we have there to learn more. I'd love to hear your questions or comments. My name Mr. Matthews, let's get a conversation going.